It is said that there was a merchant by the name of Nanduka, the cheerful one, and one by the name of Lakshmana, the fortunate one. The latter, after losing all his wealth, decided to travel abroad. In other words, a person who has lived well in one place, but stays there after losing it, is of a common mind. Further, a person who, reduced to misery, remains in a place where he was once happy, is liable for reproach. His ancestors had acquired a large set of iron scales. He gave these to the guild master Nanduka for safekeeping and set forth for foreign lands. He returned home after pursuing his desires abroad, and said to the guild master Nanduka, Guild master, give me back the scales I left here. The mice ate your scales, Nanduka replied. When he heard this, Lakshmana said, Well, Nanduka, if the mice ate them up, then it is through no fault of yours. That is the way of the world. Nothing in it is eternal. But now I would like to bathe myself in the river. Send your child with me, the boy named Danadeva, to carry my bathing things. Nanduka, fearing Lake's charmer because of the theft he had committed against him, said to his son, Child, your uncle Lakshmana wants to take a bath in the river. Go with him and carry his bathing things. Yes, with the truth they say, no one does a favor for another unless driven by fear, greed, or some other purpose. And further, if someone shows you unusual courtesy, be cautious, lest it lead to a bad end. Nanduka's son, carrying the bathing things, set forth happily with Lakshmana. After taking his bath, Lakshmana threw Nanduka's son Danadeva into a cave on the bank of the river and sealed the opening with a large stone. Then he rushed back to Nanduka's house. The merchant asked him, Speak up, Lakshmana. Tell me, where is my child who went to the river with you? Lakshmana said, He was taken away from the river's bank by a falcon. The merchant cried, You liar! How in the world can a falcon steal a boy? Give me back my son, or I will bring action against you at the king's court. Lakshmana said, Oh, you who always speak the truth. A falcon can carry away a boy, if mice can eat a large set of heavy iron scales. If you want your son back, then give me my scales. Thus quarreling with one another, they went to the king's gate, where Nanduka cried out loudly, A dastardly crime has happened here. This thief has robbed me of my child. Hearing this, the judges said to Lakshmana, Return the guildmaster's son to him. Lakshmana answered, What can I do? Before my very eyes a falcon carried him away from the bank of the river. Hearing this, they said, You do not tell the truth. How could a falcon be capable of carrying off a fifteen-year-old boy? Lakshmana answered, laughing, Ha! Listen to this proverb, When mice can eat a thousand pounds of iron, then a falcon can carry away an elephant, to say nothing of a little boy. The judges said, What do you mean by that? Then Lakshmana told the whole story about the scales. After hearing this, they laughed at what Nanduka and Lakshmana had done, reconciled the two with each other, and made them respectively return the scales and the boy.